What's your favorite, like, um, like new smell? New smell? Like a new car smell or new shoes? Um, well, I guess this is really specific and like relevant to me right now, but like, like new paint, like a freshly painted yeah. room. That's a good one. That'll get you high. Yeah, I mean, that's what my apartment smells like right now. <laughs> yeah. Not as much now that I've been doing stuff. And I'm for for those who have been keeping track of the saga for months at this it's literally been months. Um I am basically moved back into my apartment kind of. Still got some touching up to do and some organizing, but the floors You're are living done. there now. I well not tonight. Tomorrow night I will start. By the time y'all are listening to this, I will be tucked in the bed in this apartment. That it's, I can assure you. I'm very glad to hear. It's been quite a journey. It re- yeah, dude, it really fucking has, man. Oh, that yeah, let me uh cuz I took Monday off to deal with the people moving my stuff out. So the schedule was Monday they they moved they're going to have the email said they're going to have some guys come over and box up some small items. And I was like, well, that's not that much. And then a, a moving trucks like sitting outside my apartment. And I'm like, well, they only said they're going to box up the small things. So clearly that's not for me. And then yeah. the time when like they were agreed to come over, it was like, I said, come over at 10. And uh, so they, they knock on my door at 10. They're like, hey, uh, we're moving out all of your stuff. And I was like, are you, are you sure? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's, I think that's how you get robbed. Yeah. Um, but there was a security officer there who well, – she was this like five foot four like bespectacled – girl no, with uh like can't trust a security guard with glasses with well with like purple hair <laughs> and now and, i trust them yeah and uh she was making a lot of comments about all of my figurines that i had and like all my gaming consoles and she, she she would like talk to me about like games she was playing so she started talking about genshin impact which yeah, uh very popular it's a popular weeb game that's like breath of the wild but uh, it makes you lose all of your money. Um, and she was saying the names of all the characters wrong and it was yeah. making me, and I, I don't play it that much. I pl- like, I play it enough to like, well, also I know what like Japanese words sound like or Chinese words sound like. And she was just butchering every Japanese word she was saying. And I wanted to kill myself. Well, she also left halfway through people like moving shit out of my apartment. She just uh, like, yeah, like this is legit now. I guess, I got, yeah. I got better things to do. I'd have to go spend money on Genshin Impact. Yeah. I guess. Well, but how much How much did you pay her? I didn't pay any of these people anything. <laughs> was I supposed to? No, probably not. The guy yeah. even said, one guy was like, we're not allowed to take any money. And I said, like one of the mover guys. And I was like, okay. That's Good. cool. Because I wasn't planning on tipping anybody for this because this isn't my problem. Yeah. I shouldn't, cause I'm not the one who hired them. The apartment people should tip people. I shouldn't do it. I think the, the general custom is to offer them water and nothing else. Yeah. I thought about that, but I had, I had nothing. Yeah. Cause I That's hadn't been fair. living there for two months. That's well, I have fair. this bottle of water that was left out. It was not opened. So, Mm-hmm. It's it's called music water. Every beat needs a drop. True. Yeah. <laughs> That's I've never heard of that. Yeah, it, I I don't really trust it. And this definitely wasn't the brand of water that I had prior to people moving. So I think they had a bottle of water that they just left 
and now I'm drinking it. <laughs> maybe they were tipping you. Maybe so. Maybe they saw how I was living, and they're like, "This guy needs some help." <laughs> Drink some water. That's yeah. the bare minimum you could be doing. Dude, I'm excited to like fucking edit videos and like get back into music stuff again. Yeah. Now that I'm, I'm excited for you. Now that I'm here. I have so many Pokemon videos to shoot and edit. It's going to be... You guys are... My fans, my loyal fans, are going to love it. <laughs> That's, I'm included. I I enjoy your Pokemon videos. Thanks, man. I don't know been, I, I, miss, I miss doing them. <laughs> but it's been, it's been like... Oh, oh, I also have a, a food video that I did. Oh, yeah. Where I made fake donuts the fake kind of, food what things. kind of donuts um, like little baby donuts that are meant for barbie dolls or are they like they're pretty small um they're also the, it's the ones where you just like mix powders together with water until it's like it's like an easy bake oven yeah but not even there wasn't even a, a heating oven <laughs> so it's literally just science powdered know into it, the future of food. it turns into a kind of a dough um you know, there was a vanilla one and a chocolate one and then like different types of toppings and stuff the chocolate one pretty good the vanilla one disgusting <laughs> pretty vanilla it, it, no I, I wish it was less vanilla it was like if it was just like a, a plain dough i would have been okay with it but it was disgusting it tastes really bad the chocolate one i'd make some more of that Give me more of that chocolate powder and some water, and I'd be making dough all day long, you know? There you go. Yeah. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, For sure. I've been doing zero cooking, but I've been thinking about the future of cooking. <laughs> the future of cooking? What's the future well, of it's, cooking? It's got to advance somehow, right? Like, I feel like we haven't had a big breakthrough in food in, like, a century and a half. I mean, air fryers, though. <laughs> that's, not, that's just the like a air fryer, which is, which is just another way of calling something a, a tabletop convection oven. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just a small oven. Um, that's but they look cool. Different, they do look cool. Uh, I'm not against air fryers, but, like... It's not a new technology. No, it's not. I girls, need... girls love. They love air fryers. Absolutely. They love putting thing. They love taking frozen food and throwing them in the air fryer. Which, granted, is good, but they're it's they're a little too into it. It just is. It changes the game of prep time, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think we need some innovation. Every like sci-fi movie has the thing where it's like you just put your face in this microwave and then it materializes the food that you're craving, even if you don't know it. Well, I don't even I don't know about that, but I know where you just hit a button and it and it yeah. and it three D prints a food for you. Well, I know yeah, they are doing lab grown meat. Yeah, that's, that's kind of that's, that's kind of future. Yeah, so that's like this dough that you're talking about. It's, it's basically like, that. Yeah. I have another kit that I wanted to do after the, the donut one because the donut one seemed pretty safe. And I have another one that's like fake hot dogs and like fake oh, that, other meats. Like, I thought meats. you were going to say a different baked good. No, so it's like, like fake <laughs> meats, yeah, that's, which is going to be disgusting. <laughs> but I think that'll, the, that'll be a funny video, hopefully. That's a little out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is also just goes back to like the fifties, which is just like instant blank. Just add water, jello, like yeah, jello and shit. Instant pancakes, just add water or muffins. The, you don't need but milk, like, but like you can. Those pancakes aren't that bad. They're pretty know. good. I've never had them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like you, you get the, the you get the little shaker too. thing and you yeah. pour the water in it. And you just you just go. Yeah. I was doing a jacking off motion on the camera, which uh, yeah. the, the audience can't see, but now they know I the context. That, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was good. It was very fast. Yeah. Fast. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, a quick back and forth. 
Uh, that's how you. That's how you bust, man. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> speed. It's all about yeah, and like the right. Anyways, we don't need, <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. No, that's not the kind of <laughs> podcast that we are. No. What the fuck? Oh yeah, there's people working on my my hot water heater outside. <laughs> Why is it a hot water heater? Shouldn't it be a cold water heater? Folks. <laughs> It's true. It should be. That is what it does. That is yeah. what it does. Why would you heat a hot water? I don't know. Don't make no sense. <laughs> that shit don't make no sense, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I've always been saying that. Dude, I've been doing some uh, some gaming, right? Yeah. And we, we've all done some gaming from time. Well, you, you rarely game. <laughs> I rarely game. You rarely I game. pretend. Yeah, you I've, pretend to be a gamer. I've but tricked you're... myself into thinking that I'm a gamer for about 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love gaming. I played <laughs> Animal Crossing for three months last year. And I open Rocket League about once every two years. That's all you really need to do. Hardcore game. Whereas I like to convince myself I'm not a gamer, but I get, that is all I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm you like oh, I'm not like one of those gamer dudes, and then I'm like, well, I'm gonna go play near. Yeah. So I was playing near, and there and uh, normally when I play like the games I play are not things that pop up in like weird Snapchat articles about how something is is canceled. I don't know if, if you're familiar with that. I'm but not very familiar with Snapchat. Well, there's a story section, and then you can scroll down, and it'll be like various articles like Biden it's is proving more divisive than Trump. Device. Yeah, yeah, shit like that. Or like, is Tom Hanks' son racist? Yes. No, Chad Hanks has done nothing wrong. Um, I was talking about... Um, the other one. Yeah, I couldn't remember his name. The guy who was in Orange County. Here's one. Ask the aunties. And it's two ladies kissing each other. And it says, the warning signs of a toxic relationship. Which I can only assume is being a lesbian. <laughs> Colin Hanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so there was one for Near Replicate, which is what I was playing. And I don't remember the headline, but the article is like... Um, uh, let me actually pull up the article. Let me pull up the article, which is something that we love to do on this podcast. We do love pulling up articles. <laughs> Action game near replicant rewards players for looking up intersex character skirt is the name of the headline. Okay. Because one of the uh, characters divisive is intersex. And now in near automata, if you look up uh, 2B, who's like the main character, kind of not really, but that's spoilers. She's not really the main character, guys. Um, People. If you look up her skirt ten times, you get an achievement. So for this one, they added that feature feature to the yeah. game for looking up this other character who happens to be intersex. So people are like, that's transphobic. But I'm like, is it? Like, if anything, it's a quality. Yeah. You should want to look up intersex people or trans people skirts just as much as looking up a cisgender person's skirt. And that amount it's all be good. Zero. Yeah, and also it should it should be zero. But if you're gonna do it, you should look you up should everyone's do it to skirt. Everybody. Exactly. Look up Scottish kilts. Look up, uh, yeah, yeah. So Kine rules, and I, you know what? If I stand her, then that's all I'm going to say. Right. And I haven't looked up her skirt yet because I haven't played since uh, I found the article. But I can assure you it, that will be done. That will be done. Because I got to be a woke bay. If yeah. I did it to two B, I got to do it to Kine. So, yeah, can't be stopped. Also, this game uh, was inspired by nine eleven. Aren't we all? <laughs> this podcast is <laughs> really In inspired by nine eleven. In One of the way. baddest of boy crimes. <laughs> yeah, nine eleven. You know, it's it's mixed. Well, it's it. The guy who made the game was like, it was one of those things where people on both sides thought they were right, and I'm like, yeah, I guess. 
Yeah. I've been saying this for a long time. I think 9-11 sucked ass, but the people who did it thought it was great. Because would they have done it if they thought it was bad? Of course not. Everyone throughout history has seen themselves as on the side of the angels. (laughs) The angels. The angels. I said the side of, and I, I meant to say the good side, and then I said the side of, so I had to... I got trapped by my own sentence structure. Uh, speaking of people throughout history on yeah. the side of the angels, yeah. Do you, do you have a historical crime for our historically themed episode? But yeah, if, if you guys can tell from everything else we've been talking about, we're all about the, the past. futuristic video game that yeah. we're talking about. Uh, this is all part of the historic episode. All right. Well, you know how women women yeah. love two things. They love they love jewelry, right folks? And they love being royalty or paying attention to royalty, right? Yeah. That's true. The queen. Which is bad. You should not p- fucking care about the royal family if you do your fucking loser. Um and you don't see guys. No guy gives a fuck about the royal family. This is a this The royal a- family in many ways is like astrology. Oh, wow. It's raining like a motherfucker right now. That's I don't want to go get my TV. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, it's in a box. It'll, yeah, it's whatever. The, right? The royal family, in many ways, is like astrology. If a man knows too much about it, that's a huge red flag. Yeah. If a man's like, oh, yeah, the queen is Elizabeth, you're like, okay, normal human being. But then if he knows who Meghan Markle is, you're like, Okay, maybe. Maybe he watched Suits. Maybe he was one of five people who watched that show. But, like, if he knows more than three facts about Princess Diana, you're like, look, man. Yeah, Princess Diana is really where it turns into girl power shit. (laughs) Yeah, it's like, if you know more than three facts, it's like, you have fucked everyone in this city. You you know too much. (laughs) There's no way that you know this much. Without <laughs> There's no way you don't know this much without just fucking every single person where you live. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> that's how knowledge, famously knowledge about the royal family, means you fuck a lot. Well, it's like uh, if, if you know a lot, guy, if a guy if a guy knows a lot about like if he knows he's like oh I'm a Pisces but like I don't know what that means you're like okay. But if he's like, it's like, oh my, my moon signs Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, if he's like, oh my moon signs in Venus, you're just like, listen, dude, you fucked too many women. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do have a co-star account. Yep. So, uh, uh, and I, I, my moon sign is Venus. Aquarius. So, I think my rising is like Leo. I think. Let me check. We're, I've already, we've already gotten. I say one sentence about the crime, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> completely off track oh no my yeah. rising's virgo sorry oh hell yeah that's the good one yeah my air wait yeah my sun signs aries mm. okay anyways um so back to crimes um there is a royal maid known as sarah wilson because uh okay. that was her name yeah and i say was Who's to say in what way I'm referring to? We'll find out together. Um, possibly RIP. Possibly <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> congratulations on who's to say what? Um, but this happened in 1771, so for sure she's dead. Well, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> there would be a lot of problems if she isn't. Um, so she was sentenced to death for uh, a bit of stealing, uh, okay. specifically royal jewelry. Um, a little portrait of Queen Charlotte, um, some of her dresses, you know, like the, the precursor, like girl stealing makeup from like Sephora. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, basically the same thing. Exactly the same. Um, and so she was set up to be, you know, whacked, uh, you know, as one would. And but her, I guess her her mistress of the of the home, I guess, like. The, the hierarchy of whatever the fuck, you know, you know what I mean? Wow. That, yeah. I got a text message and I have the uh, audio 
in the in the, in the headphones. That was really loud. Um, thanks, You're mom. <laughs> Is it about uh, your cooking class? No, it's about my car insurance. <laughs> You know, I mistakenly yeah. texted her something and then realized I didn't need to. Anyway, back to the story. Um, so basically, instead of um, being executed, every all the parties involved were like, you know, it's a fitting punishment. We're going to throw you on a prison ship and send you to the new world. Um, yeah. And so she gets to good old America. Well, I guess it was good new America. because uh, At the time. Yeah. At the time. And uh, so she was immediately sold to a wealthy plantation owner as a a slave, Um, which she didn't like. She wasn't really big on that. Um, I I can imagine. Famously, most people aren't. Um, So she was like, yeah, I'm Audi. So she pieces out. And then somehow, and the article really says somehow in parentheses, nobody can explain this. Um, she still had all the shit that she stole. Yeah, that's that's a little unexplainable. I feel um, like I so feel like they should have taken yeah, that, like on the boat to the new world. I feel like they should have found it. I like how she committed the crime of stealing. They're like, well, I mean, you at least should keep the stuff. I mean, you earned it. Yeah, you earned it. Or maybe they were going to take it back after they executed her, and then things got kind of lost yeah. in the tra- in the transition from like, execution we're, we're to not slavery. Kill her, so, it's true, like I guess they, she keeps it. But the point is, she, she has luggage. It. I get you get luggage on the ship to the new world to be a slave. <laughs> yeah, someone would really should have gotten fired somewhere. Yeah. It's, maybe, maybe God, it is pouring. God damn it! Fuck. Fuck me and the stupid TV. Why did I choose to buy it today? Um, well, there's only one left in stock. That's why. Anyways. Um, so basically using all this shit that she stole, she's like, well, I think I'm going to be royalty now. So she claimed to be um, Princess Susanna Caroline Matilda, who is sister to Queen Charlotte. Um, Interesting. So that, that's the name change. That was the foreshadowing I did earlier. Um, that uh, was there. You go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations, um, indeed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we thought we were. We, I was going to make a. a tra- we were doing a trans bit, but it was just changing your name I to it lie was a to people. Bit, to be honest, oh. I thought she was just. Getting <laughs> oh, married. I thought you were like, oh, she became a, a. He became a man, but that's not what happened. Um, she's she's still a lady. Um, so her her backstory for her uh, royal family OC was um, that she was exiled to America after a, a scandal. She didn't really say what the scandal was. She was just like, something happened. Needed, I don't think he needed you at the time. At, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so she uh, she got, yeah, she got, um, she got the stuff, which is all you need to just make up an identity. Yeah. And basically she was just really cruising for like about two years. Like, because all the wealthy folks in in the new world were like well we gotta get in good with the royals yeah so they're giving her gifts and shit and she's like yep mm-hmm. so is she black <laughs> i don't i don't think so because i think they would have probably not been like well she's yeah. definitely not the sister of queen charlotte <laughs> yeah it, i mean I guess not all the slaves were black. It just seems like that was an overwhelming majority. Yeah, you. But I guess there were some. There were some white slaves. People don't like talking about that, but I guess there was at least one that also then just said decided to be royalty. A little bit of white privilege there. Um. So eventually, you know, after her her kind of pulling a fast one on everybody, the guy uh, who purchased her, God, it sounds really fucked up to say that, doesn't it? Um, Kind of. Yeah, it was bad. It was famously (laughs) one of the worst things. Yeah, it was was not necessarily a, a very cash money thing. Although they were making a lot of cash money because of it, so maybe that's not the right yeah. turn of phrase. 
Um, okay, she is white confirmed. She, <laughs> yeah, I, she is. I looked it up. She is a short woman, slender, made of a pale complexion, something deformed, has a speck or nail over one eye. And they thought she was royalty. Oh shit. <laughs> um. I guess they wouldn't have known any better. Uh, but anyway, so the, the guy who bought her was like, oh, uh, well, clearly she's – this fake princess is the lady I purchased. Yeah. Um, so then he offers a reward and then she's uh, promptly marched back to his plantation at gunpoint. Um, they had guns back then? They had, yeah, they had guns. They had guns for a while, dude. They've had, they've had guns in China for a long time. That's wild. Chinese invented gunpowder, I think. Yeah. That's is it really right. going to be raining all fucking day? Yeah, probably. I feel like it's a lot like the the Constitution. How guns is the second one? I mean, guns it, are. It's good to have guns so that we can fight off the tyrannical government. The government has the most guns. Yeah, but you know, it, it's well. Back in the day, it wasn't always about having the best and most guns. Although now the the gap in the best and, and most guns to normal people guns is pretty vast. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just talked myself out of <laughs> people owning guns because I'm like very pro be gun, hand. but I was like, huh, maybe See, we do need like a little when regulation. That, when that thing was, uh, when they wrote down the second amendment, they, they did like duels with muskets. Yeah, they just had yeah, they just had shitty little guns. Not, and it was like one on one my all the time. Because I did bring in my gun, which I shouldn't have. <laughs> Actually, I'm allowed to have it because it's Texas. Yeah, uh, but I don't think people know that. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a handgun from like the Civil War. That's a replica and it uses black powder. So like, it's from it's the not Civil a... War uses black powder. Very interesting. That really does make you think. It is, it is going to storm um, until 5 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so I really should have just done this tomorrow. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, no um, one else is going to buy a TV today. Are you crazy? All right. But you, you'd think the story would end with her getting marched back to the plantation. But um, apparently uh, two years after she's marched back, uh, she did another identity swap and then uh, escaped again. Um and she then was finding yourself, honestly. Yeah, and then she uh, eventually she this time she got away with it for reals. Uh, fled up north, married a, a British army officer. When was uh, when was the Declaration of Independence? When did we get our freedom 1776? from? Seventeen seventy six. Oh, so this is before all that. We were still British people, which is why they would have. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, that and tracks. then. She you was, know, we don't blame the British enough for American slavery. Yeah, it was really their fault. <laughs> Which is also our fault, because we were them. But well, yeah, I wasn't like, at all. Yeah, you were you're not involved. I was not involved. Um But they're taxing you. Taxation without representation. Which is very rude. And we definitely no don't do that to uh, Puerto Rico and No one really need places. cheap labor. <laughs> Um, yeah, so she was never convicted for being an imposter. In many ways, she was the first among us. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. I don't think anyone's going to like that joke anymore. Um, no. and she was said to be the most surprising genius of the female sex that was ever obliged to visit America. <laughs> That's very specific. Yeah. <laughs> Because I guess she didn't really have a choice. Um, of the of the women who did have a choice of going to America, they're smarter for sure. But she was obliged. So they're... The ones that had no... That kind of sounds racist, now that you yeah. say it like that. Yeah. Um, Especially considering all the, all the people that she was associating with. Yeah. And the fact that she was proven white. This sounds like maybe some of the people in the story are racist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and back then, that's a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. I, I would assume almost everybody is racist in this story. 
probably Sarah Wilson the most. Yeah. Because she didn't use her queen powers, her princess powers, to free anybody else but herself. Yeah. And she she literally had the lived experience yeah. of the other slaves. And she's like, well, I got mine, so fuck you. <laughs> she didn't make a single friend on the plantation? No. I can see that. <laughs> was, she right. hated it so much she wanted out twice. Yeah. I say that like she should have enjoyed it. <laughs> Just, you know. We're deal, back. Deal with, deal with the cards you're dealt. This was another another good story. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun one. Her legal crime is imposter. That's good. And also stealing. She She did a lot of crimes. And also, I like at the end where they're like, you know what? She was pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. And she didn't uh, really hurt anybody. So, you know, that's that's cool. Yeah. I, I, I approve of stealing from the royal family. I think that rules. And just kind of like being like, yeah, we're just going to go for it. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to steal from the royal family and then just uh, leave the continent with my luggage. Who's to yeah. say what's in it? Perhaps the crown jewels. I, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, my crime, a little bit um, more ancient. Hmm. What we did yours? say historical, which we, we didn't yeah, say how far. We we did not. We didn't go into any further details in the back in the back channel. The uh, our producers the were like, "We're going historical this week," and we're like, "Okay." Right. What does that mean? <laughs> History's most of time is history, if you think about it. Most of time certainly is history. Depending on how you think about it, all of time is history. We're make we're making fucking history on this podcast. This is boys. <laughs> not only are we talking about history, we are history. Yeah. Are you are you are you listeners? Are you going to be? like have have your content saved for generations i don't think so yeah but ours is out there it's locked in yeah it's on people's friggin hard drives this phone is never getting thrown away it's worth millions in for all the value oh man dogecoin's going back up again i feel like an idiot for selling yeah you can still buy in well, I mean, I still have some, but I sold a lot of it when it was uh, going down. But it's going back my, up. My Ethereum's going way up last time I checked. Really? Yeah. I'm, uh, I should purchase... A uh, I, I got a new app for crypto, Coinbase. I uh, have Coinbase and I never look at it. I don't, I don't know how it works, to be honest. Well, I got $5 oh, of free Bitcoin, and now I have $5.30 of free Bitcoin. So, uh, My Ethereum went up 195% in the last three months. That's cool. I'm going to be a billionaire, dude. Wow, Ethereum is... is It's going up, dude. It is going. It buy went up in. like $1,000 in like a month. Yeah, buy in. This is not stock advice, so I can say whatever I want. This is not a financial podcast. We're not giving advice, but um, well, these aren't even stocks. It's just fucking yeah, exactly. Yeah, this it literally is, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Buy it. Buy all of it. Buy eight Ethereum. That's all very it. expensive. <laughs> it is very expensive. It's like, do you have well, full Ethereum or did you no, have like a part of it? No, I I bought in a very small amount. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, gotcha. Yeah. What's sushi swap? How's that no, doing? Nobody knows what that is. Anyway, uh, historical crime. Let's go from uh, cryptocurrency, which is still, is, in my is, opinion, the future. That is that is a cutting edge crime. <laughs> yeah, all cryptocurrency is a cutting edge crime. We should do future uh, crimes. Yeah, next next week will be future crimes. So that's just going to be us declaring. Uh, so that's what literally Brendan did last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did Thanks again to Brendan from Coward Hour for stopping yeah. by. Brendan. Good job. You did you did it, man. Yeah, you, you nailed it. But Arthur, I mean, he still had the best yeah. crime. We love Arthur. 
Arthur, who may be dead for all I know. <laughs> I really hope he's not. Yeah, he said uh, that he wanted to come back, and um, I haven't spoken to him in like a month and a half. So, are you a Pokemon uh, Snap guy? I know we we keep. Uh... No. This is a uh, very ADHD heavy episode. Well, fun fact: I have ADHD. <laughs> Yeah, I could tell. Um, um, sounds like you're unmedicated right now. Uh, buddy, I'm always unmedicated. <laughs> Just raw dog in life. Um, anyway, no, I don't play Pokemon Snap. I played the N64 version. That's about it. So, well, the new one came out yesterday, but I, I'm not buying it. Yeah, don't but it seems it. like your kind of thing. I feel like you'd like chilling, snapping some pics of some pokes. Yeah, it's like... Just kind of vibing. I don't know. I'm going to look into it. I'm afraid to look into it. Why? Because you'll buy it? (laughs) Yeah. And then I'll never play it. Video games are just a waste of my money specifically. Um, So my my criminal, also a woman. um, I have another another crime for another week that isn't themed. Um, Also a woman. Yeah. Yeah. So women do a lot of crimes. It's going to be bad girl crimes. I've already made that joke on this podcast, but it's, and it still sounds weird. <laughs> it does. I don't like it. I don't like it either. That's that's like a satirical uh, dominatrix house. <laughs> I don't like yeah. that. I don't like that yeah. at all. It's like in 30 years, that's going to be a theme restaurant where all the waitresses are leather-clad mommies. <laughs> Ew. 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 That is true, though. That's going to be a thing. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Yeah. This is We've gone down a bad road, and it's all your fault. You All right, so your time. criminal's a lady. What would she she's do? A lady. She's a Roman empress. I didn't uh, know they had those. Yeah, and that's this cool. Is, this is in the year uh, three hundred and seven. I didn't know they still had those at that time. You know. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember when the Roman Empire. Well, it fell in like this. Well, Constantinople was like a thousand, right? Sure. Was he the last Roman Emperor? Not Constantinople. Constantinople? Uh, Constantine? Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, I don't want the movie Constantine, I want the person. Oh, he was like 337. What the fuck yeah. am I even thinking about? Because he was, he was married to this woman that I'm talking about. Um, in 307 to 326. Oh, coach has disappeared. Um, I believe the storm has knocked out his internet. Uh, so, so okay, like fell in like four seventy six. Solo dolo this bitch, and uh, oh. I'm going to talk about this Roman Empress uninterrupted. It's just me now. And that's what we like from this. Hello, podcast. it's not um, the banter. It's not the funny wit. Skillshy. It's not the died. Puns. It's not the uh, the uncomfortable avenues of of just like horrible thoughts. It's the articles um, that I read all about criminals that's what we're here for and that's what you're about so yeah uninterrupted Um, so this this flavia maxima faust what is there to Um, talk about a Um, little bit of an italian what we talked about last week about how i have a mullet and um, on one of the apps i'm on i didn't update the picture roman and so this girl was like what's your instagram i'm like here you go and then she saw my instagram and then she she unmatched me which was uh, was funny Uh, roman empress really flavia maxima uh, faust uh second wife of constantine the great and she was executed and uh retconned she was excluded from all Um, official accounts of the empire um and this is what else is there to talk about? Major crime. PS5 is cool. A possible it's adultery. Sick. The controller uh, has little Which, little clicky things. You know, so like sometimes you're, say, you press the trigger and it's normal. Energy, and other times or, you press the trigger and it's got a lot of um, resistance. You really have to commit to pulling the trigger. Uh, like in Hitman, a game I've been playing where you, one you of those, assassinate one people. Of those. 
um, um, you switch to a adult, gun right? and use the with, triggers. With, uh, you have to like Crispus. It's like you're pulling a real trigger. Which is, uh, how old kind of weird, kind of scary. I believe bit. he was in his um, mid to late twenties. Neat feature, and I guess. Um, they were found out uh, in his early. What else is there to do? What else is there to talk uh, about? Um, so she. I'm buying a TV. I uh, was put to death by her husband, Constantine. In my apartment. Following I got, the you know, I got 4K. Christmas, so. Which is his own son. Uh, as they were doing a lot at the time. Is this recording? I don't know. I got an error message. Cool. I think everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I tapped it. The waveforms are going. The countdown's going. Everything's fine. This is a mess. Coach, RIP. You're a real one. I have like a zit or something, like right while I uh, buy my figure out. Maybe my internet's bad this whole time. Do I have internet? (laughs) Did my internet cut out? No, Mm -hmm. I don't think it did. It's really weird. This whole time it was my internet. What a world. What a world. Nothing is really working right now. Um, okay, it looks like Skillshare might be coming back. Maybe. I don't know. Will he, will he return to the podcast? Uh, that's really up to... Interesting. I'm just going to hit pause. I cannot pause. Um, oof. His internet died, apparently. It's very sad. Very, very sad that his internet died. Um, what else interesting has happened in my life? Um, honestly, not a whole lot. It's been pretty chill, other than the whole... Uh, the whole situation of um, dealing with... With uh, moving. But I'm excited to not have to do that anymore. Because it really, really sucks. Um, I don't know how to stop recording. Um, hmm. So, yeah, we're just chilling, man. We're just chilling. Because I don't know how to stop recording. Because I was not the one who... Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Still tried saying there's a pause button for me to stop the recording. But I don't know where it is. Because... Uh... I can't see it. So that's very exciting. Oh, cool. Man, I really do look like Dr. Disrespect. The mullet and the mustache. And mine's real. His is fake. Your move, doctor. That's a look. Yeah, that's a look. Oh, I hope this gets edited out because this is really, really bad radio. But um, what else? What else is going on? Um, y'all ever bully people on Instagram? Oh, there he is. I'm back. We're back, and we're still recording. I think. Um. Uh, yeah. I highly recommend editing out <laughs> that chunk. Uh, I don't think I could pause it or anything because I don't have the... Uh, you're not a moderator. I wasn't the guy. So I'm just like, I guess I'm just going to keep talking. I also, I thought it was you because you are you were complaining about so much rain. I was like, maybe his power went out. I, kept I also going. thought it was me too. <laughs> I kept going I wouldn't have been like, surprised. I kept going for like five minutes and then I was like, let me see if he's sent me a message. And then I checked Discord and uh, I was offline. So Yeah. 
I wasted so much time. Um, that's that's rough. Um, so yeah, uh, you had a Roman Empress as your person. Yes, I will, I will read you all of the things the thing. that I said. Um, I had some good stuff going on there. I was doing some solo banter. It was great <laughs> because I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't there to participate. Yeah, unfortunately, that's fine. All of it uh, is my, probably my gone. I don't even know if the first half saved. To be honest. I mean, it still says it's recording. Right. Can you, so, can you hang it up? Can I hang it up? I don't know. That's I fine. can't. We'll I can't do out. anything. We'll figure it out later. Uh, so Flavia Maxima Fausta, which kind of strikes me as a little bit Italian German, which I guess makes sense. I would say it's probably Latin. Yeah, it's probably like you know, Fausta. Just I'm probably saying it wrong, but it, I think I'm thinking of Frau. Just AU in general just strikes me as German. Um, so she was the second wife of Constantine the Great. Hey! Yeah. I was talking about him before you died. Yeah. Um, so uh, he had her executed and retconned, excluded from all <laughs> official accounts of the Empire. No longer canon. Yeah, she is not canon in the Roman Empire. Um, mm-hmm. And who's to say why that is? But according to this article, uh, it's possibly due to her uh, perhaps adultery with her stepson Crispus, which Ooh, wait Christmas Crispus, oh uh, Crispus, like, uh, yeah. Who's to say if that's girl boss energy or a felony? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't think felonies really existed back then. No, but uh, you could get the death penalty for uh, pretty much anything, it seems. Uh, well, but I'm sure she could gaslight and gatekeep and girl boss her way out of that one. Uh, I'm sure that's probably what she does. Well, no. <laughs> well, uh, in, okay. in the year 326, she was put to death by her husband, Constantine. Um, and it happened, happened after the execution of Crispus, his own son. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> my boy fucked my wife. <laughs> Kill them both. That's an appropriate reaction. Yeah. So uh, the circumstances surrounding the two deaths a little unclear, as this was in the year 326. Yeah, I'm sure the records were probably... And especially also, famously, the... like, Rome falls not that long after that. Yeah. So, um, records are a little spotty. And also, she was expunged from the records? Is that the word? Yeah. that's a, Yeah, you can expunge things. You can remove things. It feels like you're just using a sponge on something. Yeah. I'm going to expunge this stain. I'm going to expunge this this caked on grime on this on this plate. I feel like that works. Yeah. If we have any grammar doctors uh, in the audience, join the Discord. Yeah. It's the link to that is in our pinned tweet on Bad Boy Crimes Pod on Twitter. Give that a follow if you're if you're a Twitter person. Um, but go in the Discord, hang out, and um, let us know. Let us know if you can expunge things like literally with a sponge. Yeah, I'm curious. We're not gonna look it up because that's. Why do that Honestly, when one of you cheating. can go out of your way to tell us? <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is the year 326. In what fashion would you suggest that? Um, that this nice young lady would be executed. Well, certainly not firing squad. No. Uh, Cause they didn't have those. Certainly not electric chair. They didn't have electricity. Yeah. Um, well, they, well, they might've, there are ancient batteries. I think, I don't know. It might've been on myth busters. So who knows if it's true. Yeah. Uh, it could have been busted as a myth. Um, uh, I don't think they had ge- – would they just chop her head off with a guy with an axe or hang her? Yeah, those are options. Uh, They're also big on crucifying people then. Yeah. 
Um, Jesus, Jesus, you know, he was famously crucified. Famously a Roman emperor <laughs> in the year 300. Um, Galileo was also executed by poison, I believe. He was executed? I think he escaped execution by admitting that he was lying. About what? What did he lie about? He said that the earth revolves around the sun, not the other way around, and then like, kill him. And I think he was... He's like, I'm just kidding, bro. It's just a joke. They're like, if you sign a contract that says you're lying, we won't force you to drink arsenic. And then... And he was like, okay. All right, fine. Um, And then allegedly while he was signing it, he's like, but I'm right. (laughs) He's like, my fingers were crossed, so it doesn't count. I signed with my left hand, uh, not legally binding. Um, So none of those... Is, is her execution method. Um, she was executed by being locked in a bath which was overheated. So she Ooh. was essentially boiled to death. She was like sous vide to death. <laughs> <laughs> which was way worse, probably. Yeah. Just slowly being cooked. But even more slowly than an oven would slowly cook you. <laughs> yeah. There's no air fryer. They didn't have air fryers at the time. This was... They should have had the damn air fryer. Yeah. Spray her with oil so she gets crispy. I think it's almost like deep frying. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that's bad. Um. And he also killed Crispus, his son, who had been deemed worthy of the rank of Caesar. Um, so did like sixty dudes stab his son? Uh, no. Uh, um, so it's not what worthy of the rank of Caesar means, I guess. No, Caesar <laughs> is 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 a, a title. Oh, Julius, like czar. Yeah, like Caesar. Yeah. It's the yeah. same same word. Um, so, uh, he incurred suspicion of having sexual relations with his stepmother without taking any notice of the laws of nature. But it's his stepmother. What law of nature is there? She's just abroad, you know? Yeah, they are very close to the same age as well. I think they're... Wait, how, whoa, how old was the... Um... How, what was, how old was Constantine's bay? That he killed. Uh, she was. She was born in two eighty nine. Died three twenty six. She's she's like thirty seven. Oh, that's reasonable. Yeah, and and uh, Crispus was thirty one. So oh, yeah. I mean, that's like your older sister. Yeah. How old was Constantine? Constantine must have been old as fuck. Constantine, um, he was old, dude. Oh boy, was he old. Um, he was born, this is very difficult to understand. He the was, numbers, what do they the mean? Numbers. Uh, he was born in 272. Okay. So he was, uh, math years older than his wife. 18? That's pretty old. Yeah. I got... According to Wikipedia, so he was born February 27th, 272, but also according to Wikipedia, his reign started... I don't know. I read it wrong. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete moron. Disregard everything. Everything's normal. He was like 45 or whatever. Um, so yeah, they, they did not take any notice to the laws of nature. I mean, it sounds like they did in just a way that he didn't like too much. Yeah. Um, it does not... His son was like, I'm going to go after a milf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I even looked up how Crispus was executed because it doesn't say in that article. Um, so, in high school, I took a Latin class and we had to like 
for every year we had to do like a foreign film festival or whatever. So we'd have to make like shitty movies in the language of our class. And so, um, I, we did, do you remember Potter puppet pals? I do. Yeah, we did that, but like with Julius Caesar <laughs> Interesting. and other, and other characters. That's, that's fair. Julius Caesar was Dumbledore. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay, so in this article, so I was reading an article about uh, Fausta, uh, but this article about Crispus suggests that she was in love with him. And she was like, hey, you want to knock boots? You, you want to touch giblets, as they said back in the day? Um, and, and then he said, no, you are my mother. You he was no, a noble man. You have no regard for the laws of nature. Uh, <laughs> Something that people said all the time. Yeah. So then she goes to her husband, Constantine, and is like, yo, your son is trying to smash hard. You got to do something. Typical about. female behavior. Could Give me a break. So that's why he was killed. He was executed. And then it, truth comes to light. That uh, she did a little fib. Oh, so they didn't even fuck. No. <laughs> According to this article, they did not fuck. Which I said oh, so if... at the beginning, it was a possible adultery. Oh. Um, Man, fuck that. Fuck that lady. Constantine didn't do anything wrong. Um, the son didn't do anything wrong. He was a noble man who had high regard for the laws of nature. Yeah. Very high regard, um, and he was he was made out to be a liar by someone with no regard for the laws of nature. Let's see if I, um, it does not say how Crispus was executed. I cannot find any mode of death. Um, but yeah, once they once truth came to light that. Uh, this lady was doing a little bit of fibbing. Um, they boiled her. They sous vide that bitch. And that's, you, uh, you gotta sous vide the damn bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Apparently she was pregnant at the time. Well, don't lie. Yeah. Tell the truth, or at least don't lie. I have always said that. You you have always said that. <laughs> um, the final sentence of this article just says, Crispus is innocent. And <laughs> I think that's the moral of the story. Yeah, I mean, the, he, he was innocent. Yeah. Because he he was a noble he was a noble samurai warrior except you know they didn't have those yet in many ways he was the first samurai warrior I'll I'll say it the internet died again folks so Skillshy is uh, hopefully returning is he gonna return I don't know well we, I need him to return he's the one who can stop the recording. Otherwise, I guess I would just do a sign off and be like, follow the Twitter, <laughs> join the Discord, come hang out. Ooh, we already did that plug. So. There he is. We're back. Though we should probably call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh... This will be a short one from technical difficulties. They're frankly not our fault. Yeah, I'm going to have to work very hard to figure out how to put this all together. It'll be fine. Perhaps you just, you, it'll be fine. You cut the parts out where it's just me. I'm going to leave those parts in and the part no. where it's just me. That would be so confusing. <laughs> just play them at the same time. No, no, no. Um, yeah, anyway, Christmas is innocent. Uh, women are bad. 
His, historically, <laughs> women are bad. That's what this. Uh, we have the evidence. <laughs> we have the evidence. Uh, yeah, that's you know that's the episode. I hope that it works. If not, we'll re-record tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and if you're listening, give us a little give us a little review on iTunes. Yeah, we'd love we'd love that. Just um, toss us a little. Just give us four stars. Honestly, I don't. Give us five. Give us five. <laughs> don't give us four. Give us five. Everyone asks for five. I think that's a bit much. I think, I think, I think if you want to do five, do five. I'm not. I'm not trying to undersell you. But if you're if you're like, I'll give them a one. If you're like, I'm gonna give them one. Give us a four. (laughs) I guess. (laughs) But uh, if you're gonna give us a one, don't give us anything. (laughs) But if you're gonna ignore that, then give us a four. (laughs) And if you don't feel like writing something, you can just give us the stars. But a, a nice little blurb about how how handsome I am would be great. Yeah. Um, and that how we're good. We are good. And that we're yeah we're we're good boys, and our our stuff is good. Do that. That'd be great. That'd be um, a good time. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess. All right, that's uh that's the end of the episode. See you, gang. Yes. Salute the microphone. Salute. <laughs> I'm, I'm saluting the camera that they can't see. I, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> Perfect. All right. R.I.P. this episode.